your boy Thomas and today for my first DIY video um, I didn't want to do anything too big like build a Lego figure of myself like an arch of Lego bricks or anything so I wanted to start off small so today I'm going to be creating a kawaii alpaca uh, this is uh, well all the shapes are already cut out from the works this was a pound in Wales anyway I'm not sure any other country or continent or whatever but yeah without further ado let's get on with the video so I've laid out everything here's the reference picture here's the instructions here's the mouth here's the rip, uh, little collar here's the bottom of the llama here's the top of the llama here's some beads and a sewing needle here's some sticky pads here's some uh, sewing string Here's some normal string and here's some fluff. Now let's put it all together. So the first step is to sew together the two body sections. Insert the hanging loop, but I'm not going to do that actually. Um, and then, excuse me, uh, leaving a gap for the stuffing. So, yeah. I'm going to run and pull them claws away. Yes. Yeah. Sorry guys, my father just walked in. He used this time he was going on a run. But okay, let's pop these bad boys open. Uh, because I only need the thingy right now, uh, the needle. Oh, they're gonna be for them. It's a plastic needle and I'm used to sewing with uh, like silver or something like that. Uh, it doesn't look the best, it looks pretty cheap. So let's pop these over here. Um, I'm only allowed to use the products that come with it. Um, so yeah, so this is the string we have, it's some nice blue. Um, I'm gonna quickly unravel this string. Um, it doesn't take long because it's like just tied up really simply and easy and yeah. It's, oh, it comes with two bits, so let's start off with this first bit. Um, the tip I have is to, uh, with sewing, with stuff that have ends like, one sec, let's focus on that. Wait, ends like that. Um, it's just to, like pop it in your mouth. And then we should have a pretty um, easy end to work with. So, yep, it just popped right on through. There's a quite a different, uh, quite a few different ways of uh, tying it up, but the easy, well, the, the way I do it is like this. So I have my string. Uh, let's just pin that down there. Oops. Uh, and find the end, which is by here. Pop it there. Ravel it around my finger. One, two, three. Uh, you could do it for how many you want, uh, how, however many times you'd like to. Then I just poke the needle through here. Then I take this off before it gets any further. Sorry for my hands by the way. <laughs> so then I just pop it all the way down to the bottom. That wasn't a very good example apparently. But then I also do it this way sometimes. Um, I hope I'm doing this correctly. I woke up in Chris Brown's body. If nobody's listened to that song, then I'm sorry. <laughs> You're missing out. Um, so f uh, whilst we uh, have that now, we have to put this together, sew it together. So let's just pop him um, as even as possible. Tail and everything. Everything just needs to be as even as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I'm gonna start sewing 
think they do him inside out. Oh my gosh. Okay. You have to flip him inside out after you've finished sewing him. Okay. Wait, we need to think of a name. Um, I think he's going to be a little boy. So, what about... Um, what about having him being called Jeremy? That's a cute name. Oh. That's also the name of my character that I might be bringing to this channel. I might not. Oops. It's getting a bit hooked on my tripod. I'll be back once I do this. Or I'll just do a time lapse. Okay guys, so I've completed sewing for now. So now I'm gonna go grab scissors because they didn't provide me with that and chop the excess off. Bye, be back in a second. Okay guys, so I got some scissors. Also guys, I just wanna warn you, if you're a young child, please, please, please be safe with scissors and have adult supervision. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna chop it by the knot, right by here. Bang! And then I'm gonna pop it inside out. Hopefully this goes okay. Okay. Right. Let me do a time lapse of this because this is gonna take a while. Okay, so next I'm gonna actually add the stuffing in, stuffing in, um, and then I need to sew the body shut. So, um, oh, yeah. Okay, and I'll be back in a second. So, take this stuffing. bits of it inside <laughs> want to push it up a bit maybe let me get it all in once I fit all of the stuffing in how do people fit all the stuffing in here
I thought I was doing a time lapse. I didn't even know, um... Yes? Okay, I'll be back in a second whilst I finish this. Okay guys, so I've completed the little sewing bit. He doesn't like his best, but we'll make him prettier by attaching the eyes, um, the mouth and the scarf. So I'm gonna just pop the eyes out. Let's go down, honestly. Right, so we need two little eyeballs, uh, two little black like bead things. Uh, these two things. Don't know how I'm gonna get those on. Pop these beads back by right here. Oh, well, there was a blue one somewhere. Here it is. Okay, sorry guys, the beads just went on the floor. The blue one's on the loose. The blue one really doesn't want to go into the pocket. There we go. Um, so let's add the mouth first. Maybe this way? Oh yeah. Must sit, uh, must place here. By place I mean surface. Um. Here we go. Okay guys, so my camera died so you didn't get to see the rest of the process. I didn't even notice. But here is what it's supposed to look like. Right? Ready to see mine? It kind of looks like nightmare fuel. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did they do that? But yeah, guys, that's all I have for today. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.